sales force training. Training makes an important part of every profession, more so for sales personnel because of the dependence of the most important aspect of business on them. In this lesson, we study various aspects and methods of sales force training. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to analyze the role of training, enumerate the methods of training, compare customer sales training and industrial sales training. Training can be teaching employees new skills that are relevant to their current job position or refreshing the skills that they already possess. To have a good training and development program enables firms to develop individual employees and the organization itself as training is one of the best forms of motivation. Employees are able to broaden their knowledge and become more valued within the firm. Having a well-trained workforce is greatly beneficial for a company as employees are likely to be more motivated and target driven. Also various jobs and tasks are likely to be carried out more efficiently if the workforce is highly skilled at what they do. To determine the need for an initial sales training program requires an analysis of three factors. Job specifications, trainees background and experience and sales related marketing policies. We have already discussed in the previous lesson that the qualifications needed to perform jobs are detailed in job specifications. The training has to be given according to job specifications. Upon selection, each individual enters the initial sales training program with a unique educational background and experience record. Training has to be given according to the sales personnel's background and experience. And then in order to determine initial sales training needs, sales related marketing policies must be analyzed. Differences in products and markets mean differences in selling practices and policies, which in turn means differences in training programs. The training is then given on varied basis. Marketplace is subject to constant change and these changes are opportunities to communicate to a varying and mobile audience. During the training, sales staff is informed about the location of the market where the company's products are already sold. It is desirable to inform the trainee about the important marketplaces and areas in which the company wishes to put more efforts. During the training on handling the competition, the methods like creating new needs, presenting the product differently, waiting for the right opportunity, being prepared, etc. will help a salesperson to best handle the competition. Since salesperson need to be effective in communication and negotiations, training is given to develop proficiency in these areas also. Companies adopt various methods to train the sales force. This includes at times the mix of more than one method. The most common of all the training methods are highlighted on screen. We all know about lectures. The main weakness of lectures is that teaching is emphasized more than learning. In personal conferences, trainer and trainee jointly analyze the problems such as effective use of selling time, route planning, call scheduling and handling unusual selling problems. Demonstration is appropriate for conveying such topics as new products and selling techniques. This method involves trainees acting out parts in contrived problem solutions. Gaming or simulation resembles role playing. It uses highly structured contrived situations based on reality in which players assume decision making roles through successive rounds of play. On the job training combines showing, telling, practicing and evaluating. 
The coach begins by describing particular selling situations, explaining various techniques and approaches that might be used effectively. Next, accompanied by the pupil, the coach makes actual sales calls, discussing each with the trainee afterwards. Induction training is given to a person who is joining the company from outside. It consists of 1. Company Profile 2. Position in Hierarchy and Job Responsibilities 3. Introduction to Administrative Staff and Accounts Staff 4. Reporting Procedures and Standards of Reporting 5. Knowledge of Products, Their Features and Benefits 6. Knowledge of Manufacturing Units 7. Handing over stationery and kit, etc. The induction training is done at the sales office itself. Some companies arrange a visit to the manufacturing unit also to give assurance about the quality standards. Consumer sales are generally divided into steps of a sales call. Planning and preparation is the most important aspect of salesmanship. This is the time when you decide your objective, where you want to go, how you want to go, what is the help you need for achieving your objective, what difficulties you are likely to face, how you will overcome them, what are the contingency plans, etc. Approach is a technique by which you attract the customer towards you and create a good impression of yourself. As a salesperson, you must know what quantity the customer is in a position to buy, what is his need. Undersell and overselling both are negative on your part. Brand talk is talking good about the product, but the objective is not to fool the customer, but to convince him of the goodness of the product and its superiority over competition. However, you might try to convince the customer, but still, he will always have certain objections or queries before he makes the buying decision. Remember, you should never ignore or avoid those objections. Once those objections are cleared and doubts are solved, it's time to close the call. Close of call is securing the order and making the sale. You should seek every opportunity to close the sale immediately after checking the stock to decide the need. In an industrial sale, the emphasis shifts from brand talk to negotiating the terms of sale because in this case, the buyer is the final user and he does not buy a brand but need a satisfier. If he is interested in satisfying his need and saving costs in the process, and if your product is replacing an expensive product and satisfies the need effectively, you'll get the order. Industrial sales is done on the basis of Spanko, whose meaning is detailed on the screen. Personality is an integral and most important part of a professional. It becomes even more important for a salesperson because it is by the smart use of his effective personality only that he can put across the genuineness of his motives in general and product in particular. Training is thus important in various fields as shown on the screen so as to help develop the personality of the sales personnel. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Personal conferences feature passive rather than active training participation. Right or wrong? Please click. Wrong. In lecture, trainer and trainee jointly analyze the problems such as effective use of selling time, route planning, etc. True or false? Please click. False. Demonstration is used for conveying such topics as new products and selling techniques. Right or wrong? 
please click right on the job training involves trainees acting out parts in contrived problem solutions true or false please click false before we end let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far training of sales representatives is essential to make them skilled just as a gifted athlete needs coaching and practice to perform at his best similarly a salesperson also requires proper training and development after selection sales representative should be given formal training which includes plan programs complete with schedules lesson plans visual aids other teaching devices and systematic reviews and evaluation.